Okay, so we're going to just dump into the deep water here and get started. Um, everything seems to be running a little bit late. Okay. I'm David Solomonoff. I'm the president of the New York chapter of the Internet Society, and I'm welcoming you to, here to LibTech NYC 2004, and we're co uh, co uh, Co-convening, I guess you would say, with Reclaim, and uh, th much thanks to our sponsors, uh, Allied Fiber and StealthNet. Um, I'll give a quick introduction, and then we're going to jump into the deep water here. Uh, Arthur Clark said, any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. And this is true now more than before, because information technology, specifically software, has more in common with magical invo invocation and prayer than it does with earlier mechanical technologies like steam or the internal combustion engine. So we tell machines what to do. We hope they'll do it rather than uh, instead of shoveling coal or turning the crank or opening the valve on machinery. Carl Sagan said, we've designed our civilization based on science and technology, and at the same time arranged things so that almost no one understands anything at all about science and technology. So as technology becomes more deeply embedded in our lives, it becomes more and more layered and compartmentalized so that no individual knows how it all works. This makes us vulnerable to, both to accidents and to acts of malice that we can't comprehend. The question is, are we dis destined to devolve into a cargo cult or struggle against malevolent ghosts and the machines? George Orwell described the ways language could be used to control people's thoughts and hence their behavior. William Burroughs called language a virus, seeing it as external to humanity and a danger if not controlled. So the solutions to these issues and these questions or these dangers uh, both require full access to the technologies that we use and the freedom to learn how they work and modify them to suit our needs. Today's LibTech conference is about liberating technology so that it becomes human-centric and empowers rather than enslaves. This means we must fully own and control our information even when we choose to share it. The need for privacy and the benefits of open technology and open content don't conflict. They're all about the need for human beings to control the future of information for human needs, whether to protect or to share. So that's the broad overview, uh, and we're going to throw things over next to Ted. We'll talk just briefly about Reclaim, and then uh, Shrihari and Hunter will talk about um, uh, Allied Fiber and Stealth.